What's up, my brothers and my sisters from another mister? Who doesn't like a story about people overcoming the most challenging journey to the top? I do. Plus, it gives me a little inspiration when I'm feeling down. That and maybe a little bit of coffee or a good cocktail, depending on the time of day. Then again, it is five o'clock somewhere. Today, we're going to talk about the untold and insane story of Todd McFarlane and the lesson we can learn from it. So today we will look at his journey right from the start. So get your popcorn ready, coffee and or cocktail. Let's look at his start at DC. While he is less well known for his work at DC Comics, he did have a brief stint in the early 1980s. McFarlane began his career in the late 1970s as an artist for small independent publishers and he eventually landed a job at DC Comics in 1982. He worked on various titles for the company, including The Fury of Firestorm and The New Teen Titans, and he quickly gained a reputation for his dynamic and detailed artwork. McFarlane then transitioned his career to Marvel in the late 1980s, working as an artist on various titles, including The Amazing Spider-Man and The Incredible Hulk. He quickly gained a reputation for his detail and dynamic artwork and became one of the company's most in-demand artists. During his time at Marvel, McFarlane became one of the industry's most popular and influential artists. He is credited with helping usher in a new era of darker, more realistic comic book art. In 1990, McFarlane was allowed to take over as an artist on The Amazing Spider-Man, one of Marvel's most popular titles. He brought a new realism and intensity to the series, and his run for the title was hugely successful. In 1992, McFarlane left Marvel to co-found Image Comics, a new publishing company that allowed artists to retain ownership of their work. Image Comics had several other high-profile creators in their lineup, including Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, Mark Silvestri and Eric Larson. Since Image Comics, McFarlane has become one of the most successful and influential figures in the comic book industry. His creations, including Spawn, which we'll get to that later, and for those that watch this channel, you know how I feel about Spawn. I love you. I'm not even embarrassed to say it. I just, I, I love you. I'm not embarrassed. His creation of Spawn has become an iconic figure in pop culture. Plus, he's cool to look at. The founders of Image Comics were motivated by a desire to create a new model for the comic book industry that will give artists greater control and ownership over their work. Before Image Comics, most comic book creators worked as freelance contractors for major publishers like Marvel and DC, and they had little to no control over the rights to their creations. They were work for hire. Image Comics was founded on the principle that creators should own and control their work, and the company's founders set out to create a new publishing company that would allow them to do so. The company's first titles, including Spawn and Wildcats, were released in 1992 and were hugely successful, establishing Image as a significant player in the comic book industry. Today, Image Comics is one of the largest and most successful independent publishers of comic books in the world. I believe it is the third largest as of the recording of this video, and it is known for its commitment to creator ownership and the development of new and innovative titles. Todd McFarlane is a unique and distinctive artist whose work stands out from other comic book artists. There are several reasons why his work is different from that of other artists. McFarlane is known for his highly detailed and dynamic artwork. Characterized by the intricate line work and attention to detail, his artwork is often full of energy pop and movement and he is skilled at conveying emotion and mood through his compositions. His work is often darker and more realistic than other artists and he is known for his use of darker and more muted colors and his ability to create a sense of grit and realism. Furthermore, his character designs are considered the best in the business. McFarlane is also known for his unique character designs which often feature exaggerated and muscular bodies unusual costume elements and distinctive facial features. His characters are often more realistic and less cartoony than those of other artists and they have a unique and memorable visual style. Some may question his writing style as he can be a little bit wordy with his exposition but overall I think he's a good storyteller in which he often incorporates horror, supernatural elements and explores complex themes and ideas. His stories are usually darker and more intense than other artists and he is skilled at building tension and creating a sense of mystery and intrigue. 
With any successful story, we got to talk about the setbacks and the lesson to learn from it or lessons. Before we get into that, if you're liking the content so far, you know what to do. Don't be shy. Don't be stingy. Like the video and subscribe to this channel. Here are rated comics to do awesome comic book reviews, particularly Spawn, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. And don't forget to check out ratedcomics.com for some amazing comics and our rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. You'll find something you like. Now let's get back into the content. As with any successful person, Todd McFarlane has likely faced some setbacks or challenges in his career. Let's cut this shit. He did have some setbacks and challenges in his career. It's important to note that these challenges are a natural part of any career and can be opportunities for growth and learning. One challenge that McFarlane faced was the pressure to meet deadlines and produce a consistent work output. As a comic book artist and writer, McFarlane is likely required to produce a significant amount of work regularly and meeting these deadlines can be challenging. Another challenge that McFarlane may have faced is the need to adapt to changes in the industry. The comic book industry is constantly evolving and artists and writers must adapt to new technologies, trends, and audience expectations to stay relevant and successful. Not to mention with the addition of AI. Now, that may be another video we talk about on this channel, but comment below let me know. Even though the Spawn animated series received the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Animation in 1998, despite this, the show was quietly canceled in 1999. They said the third season was a bust, which I personally call BS on that. I personally believe HBO didn't believe in it, or maybe the animated series was ahead of its time. I'm sure production difficulties may have something to do with it too. Whatever that means, and it's very vague, that's Hollywood's way of saying just F off, right? I watched the show and I loved it. Just like some consider Andrew Tate top G, Keith David is top G when it comes to voicing Al Simmons aka Spawn. Despite this unknown setback, he had to keep it moving. A question move Todd did in his career is he created a mob enforcer character named Tony Twist in Spawn issue number six, which we did do a review on by the way. The character Tony Twist, which McFarlane acknowledged was named after a hockey player, Tony Twist, Twist won a $15 million verdict in 2004 when a jury found Todd McFarlane Productions had profited from Twist likeness. The verdict was upheld after two appeals in June 2006, but the two later settled out of court for $5 million. bucks. Moral of the story? Come on, man. You guys know the moral of the story. Speaking of Spawn, Spawn is a fictional character created by Todd McFarlane and published by Image Comics. The character first appeared in Spawn issue number one in May 1992, and he has since become one of the most popular and influential characters in the comic book industry. There are several reasons for the success of Spawn comics. Dynamic and detailed artwork, the Spawn comics are known for their highly detailed and vibrant artwork, characterized by intricate line work and attention to detail. The artwork is full of energy and movement and it helps to bring the characters and stories to life vividly and engagingly. The Spawn comics also feature compelling storylines that explore complex themes and ideas, including identity, morality, and redemption issues. The stories are often dark and intense, building tension and creating a sense of mystery and intrigue. The Spawn comics are also home to a cast of memorable and distinctive characters, including Spawn himself and a variety of supernatural enemies and allies. These characters are well developed and interesting, which helps to make the stories more engaging and compelling. Finally, the Spawn comics have a timeless appeal that helps to keep them popular and relevant for decades. The characters and stories have resonated with readers of all ages, and the comics have maintained a strong and dedicated fan base. And I've noticed that when I do Spawn comic book reviews on this channel. Overall, the success of Spawn comics can be attributed to the combination of dynamic artwork, compelling storytelling, memorable characters, and timeless appeal. I mean, like I said earlier, he does look cool. It is impossible to predict how high the ceiling is for Todd McFarlane and Image Comics right now. Because the work he has produced is nothing short of incredible and sometimes questionable. The future holds a lot of surprises for comic book fans because Marvel and DC have a strong competitor in the face of Image Comics because behind it is a man who has been working for its success relentlessly. I also want to add what in the heck the new Spawn film is going to come out of production hell? I mean what the hell is going on? Come on man, I'm just saying. 
But before I end this video, I'm gonna wrap this up with a story from Sadhguru that I believe ties into this video. So a pheasant was standing in a field chatting to a bull. He says to the bull, I would love to be able to get to the top of that tree, but I haven't got the energy. The bull says, well, why don't you nibble on some of my droppings? They're packed with nutrients. The pheasant pecked at the poo poo and found that it actually gave him enough strength to reach the first branch of the tree. The next day, after eating some more poo poo, <laughs> which we're going to call dung, anyways, he reached the second branch and so on. Finally, after a fourth night there, he was proudly perched at the top of the tree, whereupon he was spotted by a farmer who dashed into the farmhouse, emerged with the shotgun, and shot the pheasant right out of the tree. The moral of the story is, bullshit might get you to the top, but it won't keep you there. <laughs> that joke is a good reminder to me, and I hope it serves value to you. I'm not saying what Todd did was bullshit. No, 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 not at all. It was the bullshit Todd did with the 20 twist name. I do wonder if it makes spawn issue number 6 more valuable because it's a key issue and the legality behind the name. <laughs> but I got to give the man his credit and we all make mistakes. He knew what he was good at and grinded and paid his dues. He doubled down, took a risk and empowered artists that other industries didn't do at the time. I believe teamwork makes the dream work and when you make people feel appreciated, they will reciprocate with their output. And I appreciate you guys for watching, and I would appreciate you guys checking out RatedComics.com to check out our comics and our really cool Rated Comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. This video is sponsored by Coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Comment below, let me know what other comic book related topics you want me to cover. Until the next upload.